I'm leaving my husband because I found out he has been making fun of me behind my back to his ex. My husband M45 and I F36 met about 6 years ago. We've been married for 1 year. When we first met, I was very fit and athletic. However, I started gaining weight after suffering 2 miscarriages and the loss of my mother to cancer. I became very depressed and barely got out of bed except to go to work. I stopped exercising and started eating junk food, leading to a 40-pound weight gain over 2 years 2019-2020. During this time, my husband then fiancé was very supportive and loving. I felt guilty and tried to give him an out several times, but instead, he proposed, and we got married last summer. Since our marriage, I've been feeling much better, and it shows. I've lost about 20 pounds so far and regained my muscles and abs. He was so happy to see me feeling better. However, what I found on his computer told a different story. Almost throughout our entire relationship, he was talking to his ex-wife about me. His ex-wife F46 left him about 7-8 years ago for a colleague. That relationship didn't work out, and she tried to get back together with my husband. By then, he had already met me, but they stayed friends, mostly through chat and texting since she lives 12 hours away. My husband complained to her about everything my job, my depression, my cooking but mostly about my weight. He told her how disgusting I was to him, how he even found it hard to share the same bed because I snored like a dog. He sent her pictures of me sleeping, sometimes in my underwear, with comments about my belly, double chin, back boobs, etc. She found these pictures extremely amusing and came up with the nickname White Whale. They both found it hilarious and began referring to me as such. They don't flirt exactly or talk about being together or starting an affair, but they do say they miss each other and reminisce about their time as a couple. She's more flirtatious, and he really enjoys it. Whatever he's telling her isn't what I've experienced with him. I don't disgust him. He tells me that he loves me all the time. We have great and passionate sex, and the way he touches and makes love to me is so genuine. He must be an excellent actor if he's truly disgusted by me. He even hates the few times we have to sleep apart. He's lying, and I don't know why. He's lying to one of us, and I'm not sure if I want to know who and why. I've decided to get out of this marriage and leave it all behind. Right now, I'm acting like everything is normal, but I've started looking for a new job in another city and a place to rent. I also started taking birth control pills in case something happens between us, and I've spoken to a lawyer to prepare for the divorce and start the process once I'm gone. One thing I won't do is fall back into depression and weight gain. I won't allow it. What a waste of love he has been. Edit I can't believe I need to explain this about the birth control pills. It's a simple explanation. Up until I went through his messenger, I loved and trusted this guy. We had a great sex life and were trying to conceive. When I read what he had written and saw the way he took pictures of me sleeping, something inside me changed. I don't know this person in front of me anymore. I can't read his face, and I don't trust him. I don't know how long I'll need to stay under the same roof as him. I don't know how he would react if I refused him for a long time with no real excuse. I don't know what else he's capable of besides taking pictures of sleeping people. I don't know if, in a moment of weakness, I might succumb to lust or if he could fool me into thinking he actually loves me. For all these reasons, and many darker scenarios I've played in my head, I'm taking extra precautions. Anyone with an IQ of a chicken could understand that or so I hope. Thank you, everyone, for the support. I'll update you when I know more about where I'm headed. Update I've now left my husband and served him the papers. White whale out. Hi again. I don't know how to make an update, but my original post is in my profile sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology for Reddit. But I'm feeling happy so happy for the first time in weeks and I wanted to share that with you since many of you supported me and requested an update. I thought it would be the decent thing to do. So here goes, I didn't pry or spy on my husband. I used his MacBook to do some work, and he had forgotten to log out of Facebook and Messenger. He's never given me any reason to spy on him. After I found out, though, I would occasionally check his phone, maybe hoping it was all a bad joke. He continued complaining to her, telling her I was being distant and cold, and that he was tired of me. He even lied, saying I was gaining even more weight, though I wasn't. He told her we weren't having sex I avoided him because he couldn't find it under the rolls of fat a joke she highly appreciated. I didn't spy after that I got the confirmation I needed. Meanwhile, he acted like the worried husband, concerned about me and asking if I was going through another depression. He told me he loved me and that he was there for me. He did everything like before when I had dips called from work, brought home takeout from my favorite restaurants, did all the cleaning and washing around the house, baked fresh bread in the mornings, bought flowers and chocolate, and asked if I wanted to go for nighttime drives or walks. He used to take me for a drive on the nights I was feeling very down and depressed. How can anyone be so two-faced? My big sister lives in another city. 
I told her I was leaving my husband and that I was looking for jobs in her city. My sister is married and lives with her husband and daughter in a big house. She offered me one of their spare bedrooms. I got a few job interviews, and one of them turned into an offer. It's not exactly in my field of work, and it comes with a significant salary decrease, but I thought about it, and it's a good start until something more suitable comes up. I didn't want to prolong my stay with him any longer, and a decrease in income is a small sacrifice. Plus, I'll have lower rent, and I'm selling my car since the new job is within walking distance of my sister's house. No more worrying about crazy gas prices. My new job starts on October 1st. I'm working my notice period from my computer. The two months between jobs, I'm just going to have fun and work on myself. I took my name off the lease, but I'll pay two more months. I left him last Sunday. The night before, I prepared a very nice dinner, and we had an incredible night together. It felt so good to hear him whisper how much he loved me and how lucky he was to have me. In the morning, I left the divorce papers and my attorney's number in the kitchen. When I got to my sister's, I finally told her and the rest of my family everything. I showed them all his conversations and even the pictures he'd taken of me. They're all furious with him. He's been calling and texting obsessively, but he doesn't know where I live now. He's emailed, dmed, and even went to my parents, but they just shunned him at the door and advised him to let me go. Maybe he knows now because he's been asking to explain and apologize, etc. I don't care. All I've texted back is that if he wants to convey a message, he can do it through my lawyer.